Hello, wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be talking about five most unusual and strange black holes we've discovered in the last few decades, starting with some that you may have never even heard of. Anyway, let's talk about these weird, unusual black holes and welcome to What The Math. And even though technically I really should be starting with some sort of a supermassive black hole, I decided to actually do the opposite and start with the smallest black hole we've discovered to date. And this is what this black hole looks like relatively close by. Now this is in real time and as you can see, the accretion disk here spins extremely fast and this, this is simply because of the small size of this object. It's only uh, a few kilometers in uh, radius and its mass is basically at its theoretical minimum. It's only five or so masses of sun in mass. Uh, now, what makes this black hole really extreme is the actual accretion disk and also the so-called um, accretion winds that reach speeds of 32 million kilometers per hour um, or 20 million miles per hour, which basically gives this some of the fastest uh, moving accretion winds um, in our in our galaxy. In other words, if you were to fly through this, you would be bombarded with so much radiation at such high velocities that uh, you would just be stripped of everything, not only in your spaceship, but basically on your body as well. Now, this black hole is not very big in size, but it is relatively massive. And so even being that close to it, you would experience such high uh, tidal effects that uh, you would be spaghettified in like microseconds. In other words, you're going to not live very long if you were that close to this particular black hole. The accretion disk is actually formed by uh, the material from its partner star that you see in the background. And it's essentially stealing this material and then creating the accretion disk that we can then see from our planet Earth. And so technically this right here is the smallest black hole in our galaxy, at least as of 2018. All right, now let's look at the opposite, the biggest black hole in the universe. And to give you the idea of the size of this black hole, we're going to use Universe Inbox and use our own solar system with Earth being right there, Sun being right here, this is Jupiter, this is Saturn, to essentially create um, the approximate size of this black hole known as Ton 618. Uh, so if I were to place a black hole somewhere around here and then place this black hole right next to our solar system. So once again, uh, Neptune is right there. So basically this is a distance of approximately 30 astronomical units. The black hole known as Ton 618 would be this big, gigantic. It would actually cover our solar system several times before you could even reach the limit of this particular black hole. Tremendously, tremendously large. Um, its current radius stands at approximately 1700 astronomical units, which is 1700 times uh, the distance of Earth to the Sun. And its mass is also ridiculous uh, at the same time. Several uh, billion masses of the Sun. Anyway, so this is the most massive and the largest black hole we've discovered so far, and it's at the distance of several billion light years away from our planet. Okay, what about the next one? The next uh, black hole is actually a type of black holes known as rogues or rogue black holes. These usually uh, refer to black holes that move across space ridiculously fast for reasons that are not usually easy to understand. But this particular black hole is actually really massive as well. It's about 600 million times the mass of the sun and it's moving across space at a speed of about 10 million kilometers per hour. Now this black hole is known as SDSS J0927 uh, plus 2943 and was actually born or created the following way. It was created through a collision of two galaxies and it was at the center of one of these galaxies and the other galaxy uh, or the supermassive black hole at the center of the other galaxy actually kicked it out and you'll see this in a few seconds as we try to simulate this. Due to the gravitational interaction with the uh, other black hole, it essentially got kicked out completely from these two systems, probably taking a few stars with it, and started moving across the uh, universe, across the empty space, 
at a ridiculously high speed away from its original galaxy. And what was left behind was essentially um, globular clusters and star constellations without the central uh, supermassive black hole. This particular galaxy is not alone though, and we suspect there's actually quite a lot of rogue stars, rogue planets, and rogue black holes out there flying through even our own galaxy without us knowing about them. And the only reason we were able to, to see this particular galaxy is that uh, it has so much other stuff around it that it's actually easy to see it with powerful enough telescope. But hopefully one day we'll find other techniques or other ways of discovering these particular objects because one day a black hole might actually fly through our own solar system without us even knowing it. And this could actually be devastating for the entire solar system because if it's massive enough, it could actually cause tremendous uh, changes in orbit of planets um, in our solar system. But anyway, this was a rogue black hole. Now let's talk about a black hole that actually creates unusual bullets. And this particular black hole, which is, as you can see, not very big, it's only about 10 masses of the sun, is known as H1743-322. Uh, it's located around 28,000 light years away from us, which is a distance to the center of our um, galaxy as well. And what makes it unusual is that it's actually um, stealing matter from its companion and not only is it actually uh, using this matter to create an accretion disk, but it's also, and let me actually show this to you visually, it's creating these unusual um, bullets that essentially are planet-sized matter that fly at ridiculously high speed away from the black hole. Now these bullets, and that's for the lack of a better name for them, um, are essentially planetary-sized, ridiculously high-moving particles. And uh, this one in particular is about one and a half masses of Jupiter. They're ridiculously large in size and they move at a quarter of a speed of light. So basically anywhere from 50 to 60,000 kilometers per second. They move ridiculously fast, they're extremely high in energy and they could potentially destroy anything in their path. But what's unusual is that at some point, this matter can actually turn into a rogue planet that can then move at ridiculously high speeds as well. Now, this is the only system we've discovered that does this, at least for now, but we expect there to be a lot more. And what's interesting is that this particular object can actually then become a gas giant or potentially what's known as a brown dwarf with its own system and maybe even its own uh, unusual planetary system. Now, for now, though, that's all we know about this particular object. And unfortunately, um, it will be quite a while before we can learn more because unfortunately, it's really, really far away from us. So that's a bullet black hole or a bullet producing black hole known as H1743-322, a system that's definitely one of the weirdest ones we've discovered so far. And the last black hole I wanted to take a look at is um, a little bit farther away. It's about 35,000 light years away from Earth. And it's a black hole known as RS1915-105. What makes this particular object very unusual is that it is actually the fastest spinning black hole we've ever detected. Now, this black hole spins so fast that it actually bends time-space around it to the point where it, it would be kind of similar to the movie Interstellar and the Miller's Planet, except, of course, that it's not a supermassive black hole, so it wouldn't really have the same effect. As a matter of fact, it's more likely that you would Get, be spaghettified before you even get that close. But um, it does spin uh, like 950 times per second or close to a thousand times per second. So if you were to actually stand on the edge of this black hole, basically right here on the surface of the uh, event horizon, which is where I'm standing right now, you would actually be moving at a speed of about 150,000 kilometers per second or about half the speed of light. Now that's, that's a fast spinning black hole. The speeds here are so incredible that this black hole uh, could actually potentially be used as a tremendously powerful generator of energy. Now, why it spins so fast or how it got such a tremendously high rotation is not something we can discover very easily, but the assumption here is that it most likely happened because either A, the star was spinning really fast to begin with before it went supernova, or most likely B, this was a result of a collision of two stars that upon a collision uh, created tremendously fast rotation of the actual black hole. 
So what caused this is not something we can answer, but this is definitely an object that's very, very unusual in many different aspects. Including, of course, the unusual space-time effects that we would be experiencing if we actually came really close to this black hole. In other words, being close to this black hole, you would experience very high time dilation, so time would actually be moving a lot slower for you than if you were farther away from the black hole. Well, and that's about it. These are the five strangest unusual black holes I wanted to talk about in this video, and hopefully now you know a little bit more about our universe, space, and most importantly, black holes. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Subscribe if you still haven't, and share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through video games and simulations. Consider supporting this channel Patreon, and space out, and as always, bye bye.